So we're going to have a look at some hazards now. Now, hazards would normally fall into three categories. That would be the movement of others. That would be your developing hazards, uh, like cyclists or maybe a, a truck changing lane or a car coming out of side street, whatever. Or we could have um, hazards caused by uh, the road layout, like roundabouts, pedestrian crosses, sharp bends and stuff like that. Uh, or we could, could, we could have hazards caused by the weather, like low sun glare might be an issue tonight, or ice, snow, heavy rain, fog and stuff like that. So as we drive along this next street, we're probably guaranteed some hazards along here. Uh, so we'll see how we'll see what we get and see how what we can anticipate and what actually develops. So we're next to the lights because we're running anti-clockwise here. So I'm just going to go for first gear at the moment and start to check my mirrors. Hazards can come from the back as well. So I'm checking for any emergency vehicles coming from the back. I'm checking for maybe a cyclist coming up uh, my left hand side or maybe a motorbike filtering up my right. It's safe and clear at the back at the moment. So we're anticipating us getting green any second now, red amber first obviously. Uh, the other lights have had a, a fair bit of time now. So lights are red amber, a check of all three mirrors and moving off smoothly. Now this one lane uh, splits into two just over the brow of the hill here. I'm actually going to use lane one and use the rim of the roundabout. I'm going to go ahead at the roundabout, it's the first available exit. So I'm giving way to my right, it's safe and clear. I'll take up position nicely in the rim of the roundabout. So the white say at Ibiza is a hazard, they could, she could pull out but she didn't. So we're in a segment, segment left we're coming off the roundabout and we're in a one way street. So there's a green traffic light, that's a hazard because you've got no idea of knowing really when it's going to change the amber. So we'll put in a system for that and sure enough, mirror near side mirror, it did, it turned to amber. So I hope you can see there that every green light is a hazard unless you've had a right good long look at it and you know how long it's been green or you've just actually just watched it just become green. Um, but if you come round a corner and you're faced with a green light, you've got no idea really of knowing when it'll change the amber. So um, if you're doing hazard perception, I would certainly click on a green light. Uh, driving a car, there's no mouse to click, check your mirrors instead. Check your mirrors and see what's going on behind you so that you know if it's safe to break for that green light. Now, there's a man with a dog over there, so we're just being aware of him. Uh, we should be next, we should be working here on major, minor pedestrian crossing on the traffic lights, uh, but he's going for it. As anticipated, he's going for it, the guy with the dog, so checking all three mirrors. Uh, we're going ahead, so he won't affect us, but it was an issue for the cars turning right. It's quite tight here actually, there's a car on my right, I'm just letting them get ahead of us and then I'm going to signal it right try to come out uh, for the car behind me, give them a wee wave of thanks as well. The flashing 20 sign's not on. Scan well ahead, there's a warning sign for school patrol, uh, it's a school holiday today actually, it's a bank holiday Monday, so no school children about. The pedestrians on the pavement might step off, but on the near side mirror we've got brake lights on for a queue forming, so just bring the speed down, nice and slow, nice and gentle, and bring the car smoothly at a halt in a position where we can still see tyres and tar. Uh, most folk treat this road as like one big wide lane. Uh, obviously you'd position over at the left to go left or over to the right to go right, but when you're going ahead most folk just stay along the middle of this road here. It's not quite wide enough or painted as two lanes. Lights are green, I check of all three mirrors. It's a fairly short sequence, so now we're anticipating now that we might actually not make the lights. So gear is two, having a mirror check and being very closely followed at the back, that's fine. Lights are green and we're through. Car in front looks like he's swerving over, I'd suggest it's looking for somebody to park, so we're anticipating that the car in front will we'll just erratically stop somewhere. There might just be in potable avoidance. There's a pedestrian crossing further down with some roadworks, and we have no one at the crossing, so the light should stay green on the crossing. However, I can't read the weight slip on the button. Personally, I like to look and see if the word weight is lit up on the V-demand unit. Uh, the, the word weight isn't lit on this one, so this one will stay green. It's a man slowly making his way off the road. Just scanning well down the road, this van, the white van's got the reverse light on, the brake light there, so just be aware of that. Mirror near side mirror will stay well at the left hand side in case he swerves off. Mirror off side mirror will regain a road position again. There's a crossroads here, scanning left to right, right to left, it's safe and clear, the woman obviously was stopping for us. Traffic lights are red, mirror near side mirror, bring the speed down nice and slow. So here we've got one lane in the middle for going ahead, a left lane for going left and a right lane for going right. Here is one. Again, a fairly short sequence of traffic lights, so again, we might not make it, so mirrors. And sure enough, we haven't. Bring the speed down nice and slow, stopping very smoothly in a position again where we can see tyres and tar. Applying the handbrake, selecting neutral, and my feet are clear of the pedals at the moment. We'll keep an eye on the lights. Ideally, if you can, try and watch the cross flow traffic lights. 
but that's not always possible. It just depends on where they're, where they're sitting and sometimes how light or dark it is. Some pedestrians kicking about here, just being aware of that. So if we were to get a green at the moment, there's a man with a bag crossing the road who had no intention of waiting on a green man. So we're just being aware of him. We're going ahead here. Uh, the car in front has uh, his foot in the foot brake, so he might release it and roll back. It's very, very slightly hilly here, so we're just being aware of that. Lights are green, check of all three mirrors and moving off smoothly. Still on a one-way street. Eventually I'll be turning right, so mirror off side mirror. I'm actually going to take up a right-hand road position. There's a zebra crossing here, it's humped, so the mirrors and slowing down for it. Scanning either side, there's no one at it, it's safe and clear, so nicely up and over we go. Got some potholes kicking about here, so just being aware of that, keeping the speed down. Being aware of all the parked cars on the right and the building works on the right, uh, so we could get maybe works vans moving off and stuff like that. On all the parked cars, we could get doors opening, or the possibility of maybe people stepping out through them, especially kids that we can't see. Mirror offside mirror, position is lane 2, just bring the speed down to the traffic lights. Uh, you could argue here that you don't need to signal, it's a right only lane. So gear is now 1 for the lights, so check of all 3 mirrors and moving off smoothly. Gear is 2, mirror offside mirror for anyone on a motorbike or cyclist overtake. Safe and clear. A very sharp left turn here, there's people waiting to cross the road, so mirror near side mirror, signaling left, they're not looking at me, still not looking at me and I'm being prepared to stop. They've now looked at me and they're going to go again, so we'll let them finish going. There we go, mirror near side mirror and then we'll make the turn. So as you can see, I anticipated there that they would step out and they did, they, start, they actually did start crossing uh, without looking at all. Just signaling left, the car at the back just going to park up on the left hand side here. So I hope you can see from the video that hazards that you anticipate you'll stop or break sooner for than if you're driving along the road not paying attention and getting caught out. Uh, so it's very important to scan well ahead. Uh, well, in fact, vary your vision from far ahead to close distance and uh, keep scanning and anticipating as best as you can.